So obviously the first thing I've done with this song is I have moved it to the key of A minor. I took it out of A flat minor because that way you're kind of doing a lot of bar chords. Mm -hmm. Which when you're an experienced player, it's not such a huge deal. But I mean, also I do a lot of extra licks in this, which I find it much easier to do in open position. So I'm gonna show you the chords in this new key of A minor. And then I'm gonna gradually take you through all the patterns that I do with it. And in this lesson, we're gonna go up to kind of intermediate ones where we're just integrating the wrist bump and the thumb slap together, but none of the real fancy stuff. And the next lesson will go over all, all sorts of extra bass licks you can do and how to really kind of like combine these licks into like exactly the way they do it in the song, which is a little more complicated, but the simplified version, get you to sound, get you going on it. All right, so let's get started. Two chord progressions in this song. There's a verse progression and there's a chorus progression. Let's just brush through this with me if you can. Starts with A minor. I want you by G, my side. F goes to C. So I don't ever feel E alone again. And it really just repeats that. They've always been so kind. It's the F twice. But now they brought you away. Me. So the A minor is one beat, la, 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 G, and then F twice, C twice, E major twice. We need to fetch back the time they have stolen from us. And then as it goes into the chorus, it kind of holds on to the E for different lengths of time. You can hold it kind of for as long as you want, but just a little bit to kind of accent it is good. Um, so now when we get to the chorus, we're going to, starting on F. I want you, goes to C. We can bring it on the floor. E major. Never dance like this B. E, uh, a minor. Before. Walks down to the G minor quick. We can talk about it. By G minor, I mean G major, of course. And it just cycles that, so it's, F in on, do the C all night long, E in paradise, A minor, shouldn't cheat about it, I want you, we can bring it on the floor, never dance like this before, we don't talk about it, dancing on, do that boogie all night long, stoned in paradise, shouldn't talk about it, and holds the A minor at the end, and does a real quick switch through the G. It goes, shouldn't talk about it, shouldn't talk about it. A minor, G, and then it's back into the verse changes again. Okay, that is all the chords there are to deal with in this song. So as long as you kind of stay with the verses and the choruses, then you should be fine. So now we're gonna talk about all the right hand patterns. We're basically just gonna like layer right hand pattern on right hand pattern, and some are finger picking, some are percussive, we'll work it out. First thing I want you to work on is just taking these three fingers, pointer, middle, ring, put them on the D, the G, and the B strings, and see if you can just go pluck all three pretty evenly, but then kind of just like plant them right back on the string. Now also, when you play a chord in the left hand with that, you're gonna kind of, if you just kind of loosen the fingers, it mutes the chord, you hear? So you're gonna be doing that kind of fast. You're gonna be like, So you hit the chords, but it's kind of sl kind of quickly, so it's a percussive effect. So, it and you're doing that pretty much off the beat all the time. So if you're going one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add like. A bass note, you're basically you're gonna add like a quarter note pluck and chuck thing. So it's gonna be a thumb, slap, slap, thumb, slap, thumb, slap. We've done these a bazillion times in all my other pluck and chuck songs. So if you've done any of those, you'll be familiar. So but you kind of add this in between every thumb pluck and every thumb slap. So it's like thumb, pluck short, slap, pluck, thumb, pluck, slap. You speed it up, it goes. And it's okay to let the bass ring. So you hear the, you hear the A bass still going? 
that's definitely okay to do in this song. The main thing is you want to make these chords, these three note chords, you're going to play, they're all going to be as short as you can make them. So, so if we just try that over the A minor chord, try to play that along with me. One, two, three, and one. There you go. So, once you got that much down, now comes the fun part. Now we're getting the wrist in there. Um, I'll state for the record, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Right now I'm trying to stay pretty clear of the strings if I can. Just where my thumb and my fingers can reach, but I can still kind of hit the body of the guitar. You can, you can do it on the bridge of your guitar. I actually like the thud sound that you get from the bridge. Um, it's a little more trebly here, which I don't like as much, but you can also get a little bit more a little more to the center of the strings when we play near the bridge here. Get this kind of tinny sound because you're really close to the saddle on the strings. So you can either play kind of up here if you want the string tone to be a little warmer or if you want the thud to be a little better. Usually I think playing, doing the wrist bump on the bridge is a little better. Um, for this song you can really do either one. Um, now the real, other real key, if we haven't done this before, you got to be able to hit the wrist and play a bass note at the same time. So hopefully you've done the warm-ups to this series, but in case you haven't, make sure you can kind of plant the thumb on the A string here, and then wrist bump and pluck at the same time. So the thumb is kind of going the opposite direction of the wrist. So do a couple of those real slow with me. Every time between, really watch what you did, see if you can improve it a bit. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, You might have to go over that a couple times till you get it. That's one of the trickiest things when you're starting out with this, but really take some time to do that. When you're ready, put the thumb slaps in between. So three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So work on that a bit. Putting those two things together, another tricky step, but once you get it, now the ultimate is where you want to be able to do the bass notes and the plucking here all together. So get your chord together, see if you can go one and two and three and four and thud, pluck, slap, pluck, thud, pluck, slap, pluck, thump, pluck, slap, pluck, thump, pluck, slap, pluck. So you definitely want to make sure you're muting with the left hand at this point, because your right hand's got a lot going on. So make sure you're still getting the effect with this hand. So, all right, take some time, put that piece of master work together. That's such a great texture. You can use that for reggae stuff. You can use that for pop type of stuff, for dance type music, but that's, it's just such a great pattern to know. Okay, so now that we know that, now we modulate it over the chords. For pretty, I would say keep these three fingers on the D, the G, and the B strings. They don't really need to go anywhere. They can stay plucking these three strings. The thumb is gonna follow the roots of the chords. So for A minor, it's gonna be on the A string. And then you're gonna go to the B, and you're gonna be playing the E string now. And when you get to chords like this, you mute them with the left hand by kind of ducking your left hand. So you watch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do this real quick. And notice I can keep this note. If I, if I go, you see I can still hear the bass note, but not the treble strings. So I'll pluck all the strings. I kind of damped the middle strings, but I kind of kept my ring finger pushed down. So you can, that, this helps you control the texture a little bit more. You can still hear the bass notes ringing, but you, you get the shortness from the treble strings. It's very tricky to do. If you don't master this part of it, don't worry about it. But if you're really planning to go far with this technique, it's really worthwhile to practice stuff like that. Cause you're gonna get stuff like this all the time. So. Let's go a little further with what we were doing. Start with the A minor. Three and four and A minor. G major. F. Yeah, and oftentimes I'll kind of leave a bass note out in there just to give it a little more space. But okay, for now, let's go back and do that one more time. I'll put all the bass notes in this time. Three and four and A minor. to the C. A minor.
Okay, so one other thing I'll do is a lot of times when I play the F in this song, it's a little risky, but I'll, uh, I'll sometimes play it with this fingering where you kind of, I kind of use the thumb here and just these three fingers. It's a little easier to get around with this. And actually you can control the bass a bit. You can, you can hold the bass now. It's easier to do that than to kind of do it with the bar chord. You have to kind of lift everything up and kind of hold that over the bar. It's quite tricky to do. So, all right, let's try this once over the chorus changes as well. If you feel like you're sort of getting it over the verses, give it a try with the chorus, see how you do. But it's all gonna kind of take a little bit of time to settle in, so let's start with the chorus here. Okay, one, two, three, four. I want you, we can bring it on the floor. Never dance like this before. We don't talk about it. Okay, if you've gotten that much so far, all right, you're already in a whole nother class of guitar playing. This is a new technique. I have not seen a lot of people singing and playing with this technique. In fact, I'm trying to think if I've seen any. Um, so, I, 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 at least at this point, at the time this video is made. So, if you got that, kudos to you. That's awesome. Next video, I'm going to take it even further. I'm going to show you how to integrate more of the bass lines that he does, more of the texture changes. So, the, you can play like a whole rendition of the song and it'll sound, it'll feel really vibrant and really varied, even though you're repeating patterns the whole way through. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Check it out when it comes out.